Assalamualaikum and a very good day. I bid to the respected panelists, education department officers, fellow presenters, and ladies and gentlemen, members of the floor. My name is Nurul Naziha binti Abdullah and my partner, Mr. Liu Tenshong from SMK Labuan, Wilayah Persekutuan Labuan, would like to present our research paper entitled Intervention Program on Weight Reduction among Form 6 students of Form 6 Center SMK Labuan. The premises of this study is a healthy mind breeds a healthy body and a healthy body breeds a healthy mind. So the hypothesis for today is intervention program helps in weight reduction. The National Health and Mobility Survey 2017, the prevalence of childhood obesity aged 10 to 17 years old has increased nationally as compared to NHMS 2012 findings. Malaysia is known as the fattest country in the South East Asian region and the obesity epidemic is quite widespread among the young and school-going children and has reached a worrying level. Reflection Yifin et al. 2018 suggested that BMI was related to GPA and that student engagement was a significant mediator of this relationship as students who are overweight or obese may be less engaged in school which in turn explains why these students have worse epic academic outcomes. Focus. The aim of this study is to know whether the intervention program on weight reduction program planned by Form 6 Center SMK Labuan help in weight reduction among the students after four months period. Objective to create awareness among students about their weight and diet in coloration to their academic performance. Target 23 students of the Form 6 students in SMK Labuan, Wilayah Persekutuan Labuan. Methods the mean BMI before the intervention program stated at 29.86 kg per meter square, at which 47.83% categorized as obese. That is, BMI more or the same as 30.0 kg per meter square. And 52.17% were overweight, that is, BMI more or equals 25 kg per meter square. Study design. This quantitative study started in early May to end of August 2019, which takes about four months. The evaluation of the intervention program focused on, first, Waiting all the students every month for four occurrences. Two, using body fat analyzer in body model 210. Analyzing behavioral changes on healthy lifestyle by analyzing the knowledge score on healthy eating habits before and after the program using Form A, Diet Practice Evaluation Module 4 body weight management intervention. Data analysis. The comparison of the weight of the students in four month period and the form filled by the students on healthy eating habits before and after the program were analyzed by using Excel data sheet and SPSS for T test. This are the categories of BMI figures. Results and discussion. 
all the 23 students were in the program without any withdrawal from the participants. Their weights were recorded every month for the four-month period using the body fat analyzer in body 210. Figure 1 shows the mean for weight and BMI after four months intervention program on weight reduction. Did decline, but the reduction is not significant. The program score on the healthy eating habits did show a significant value. That is, p-value is less than 0 0.05, showing that the intervention program did help the students to choose a healthier lifestyle, such as having proper meal, increasing intake of plain water, and consume more fruits and vegetables. Figure 2 shows the weight reduction is better at the early of intervention program compared to at the end. The eagerness of students early in the program help in weight reduction, but the motivation do not maintain. This result is in line with the report by AS Barnes 2007, which stated that in all populations, successful initial weight loss often does not result in sustained weight loss. Figure 3 shows 12 of the students have experienced weight increment, while 10 of the students able to reduce their weight. The students who were able to reduce their weights have their own activities outside the program and monitor their weights frequently. Other studies showed that consistent self varying may facilitate weight control by, by enabling individual to catch and reverse small weight gains by Megan 2007. Figure 4 shows that the percentage of the weight reduction varies from less than 5% to more than 10% among the students who were able to lose weight. These results showed that intervention program in weight reduction had different effects on each individual. Successful weight losses among certain individuals are a unique, important group from which useful information can be gathered by NSB 2007. Thus, further investigation can be done to study the facilitators and barriers in weight reduction effort, especially for students in Lab 1. This is our most successful participant. This photo was taken in May 2019, with his initial weight of 104.9 kilograms, and his uh, semester 2 result was 0.75. This is his second weighing, taken in July 2019, with a reduction of more than 10 kilos to 90.3 kilogram. Now this is uh, the third weighing in August 2019, where he managed to reduce his weight further by another kilogram to 89.6. And his STPM uh, trial result has improved to 1.0. Zero. Now, in March 2020, he managed to reduce his weight further to 85 kilogram, and his official STPM result was 2.67, and he was uh, accepted into UMS Kota Kinabalu 
and he managed to maintain his weight around 84 to 86 kilogram and with this latest photo in August 2021 and his first semester result is 3.4 CGPA. Okay, our conclusion and recommendations. The intervention program in weight reduction among Form 6 students help in increasing the score of healthy eating habits among the students, but eventually knowledge learned need to be put into action on a regular basis. The weight reduction was better in the early stage of the intervention program, but the number of students have gained weight at the end of the program. Self-monitoring and awareness are important in maintaining the motivation for weight reduction, thus in proper monitoring tools need to be formed and motivation sessions need to be included in the intervention program for weight reduction. The students who managed to lose weight could share with other students in a simple sharing session on how they maintain their motivational level and creating a peer support environment. Intervention activities. A social media application such as WhatsApp is uh, being used to communicate with the students to motivate the students and to share information on weight losing ideas. A team from Labuan Health Department was invited and actively involved, where some teachers also took part in this program. A machine known as body fat analyzer was used to record anthropometric readings and recordings and consultation on healthy eating habits and healthy lifestyle was conducted by a team from Labuan Health Department. Uh, this is a consultation on diet by a doctor to one of our participants in the program. And this is a talk on balanced diet by a nutritionist from the health department. Here are some of the participants who are attending the talk on the importance of physical exercise. Thank you for your attention.